What's going on everybody? It's Cody and Colin here from Sappington Pro Outdoor. Today we've got the brand new 2024 Polaris Ranger XD 1500. Here we've got the single cab North Star Ultimate model and we're going to be going over some of the new specs, the new features, letting you know what we think. Before anybody asks, this one is not available. This is a demo essentially from Polaris that they've given us for for training purposes and ours are going to be coming a little bit later this month. So first thing I want to go over, of course, is the look. So if I step out of frame here, obviously it looks way different. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen this and a lot of you guys probably haven't, but total front end redesign on this bigger bumper. You get these shackles on the front, which is really nice. You still get the factory winch, which is awesome. Give you a little better idea of what the front looks like. And then something I think is really cool on these new XD 1500s on the uh, North Star Ultimates and the North Star Premiums, you get 30 inch tires on the regular XD 1500 Premium because there is a non North Star version. You just get the 29s. So there's no 27 inch tires on these like there was on the XPs or anything like that. Moving a little bit further back here, you also notice this thing sits up way taller. I believe it was 15 inches of ground clearance if I'm remembering correctly. So it's got a lot more of a presence to it. It's kind of, you know, it feels like a bigger truck. Back here, the bed on this new XD 1500 is 50% bigger from what the XP 1000s were. So a whole lot more bed space. Uh, they actually made it to where you could fit a, uh, a pallet in the bed is, is what they were saying. So pulling it down here, it's wide, it's open, it's spacious. Don't mind the leaves in the dirt. Like I said, was it is a demo from them and you got some cool features there in the bed. Hey guys, Colin here with Sapnew Pro Door going over the internals of the Ranger XD 1500. It's gonna come with a 1500 cc three cylinder ProStar motor. That motor's putting out 110 horsepower and 105 foot pound of torque. Uh, that is also paired with their new steel drive transmission, which basically four major component parts on that one. Uh, one, it's maximum durability and strength. The 100% steel constructed belt is designed to withstand heavy loads, requires little maintenance compared to the rubber belt design commonly found in other UTVs. Plus it's fully sealed and liquid cool for maximum durability and longevity. Uh, what that states is it's got longer service life, so you don't have to service the transmission, but once every 6,000 miles, uh, and then a little bit jump back to the engine, you don't service it, but once every 2,000 miles. <clears throat> Point two, it's smooth, precise control. Steel drive is electronically controlled to deliver outstanding drivability benefits, enjoy smooth, predictable throttle engagement and precise low speed control when backing up to trailers, navigating rough terrain or spraying a fence line. Third point, effortless shifting, quiet operation, easily shift between drive, park and reverse gears with a consistent predictable feel and reduced effort. Controlled RPMs reduce operating noise for a quieter, more enjoyable ride. Uh, last but not least, point four is hill assist and descent control. You'll have complete confidence in challenging terrain for maximum control when driving uphill. Hill assist engages the transmission to prevent the vehicle from rolling backwards like you see in a lot of vehicles nowadays when letting off the accelerator and brakes. When navigating downhill, the transmission remains engaged to assist in controlling descent. So just like your car does if you're sitting kind of on a hill to a certain degree, when you let off the braking gas, it'll hold you there. That way you can just hit gas, take off, so you're not kind of having to use both feet like you would in a manual car. So four good points on the transmission there. Those are both brand new for the XD 1500 model. All right, so to go over a few unique in cab features on the XD 1500 Ranger, on the left side of the steering wheel, you have your differential unlock and your all wheel drive selector. Uh, you have your drive modes. So you're gonna have standard, comfort, sport, and then for tow haul to give you maximum torque out of that uh, transmission and engine, you'll just press it straight in. I did, I promise, go. Okay, so right next to the steering wheel on your headlight control, another cool feature is it has your regular low beam, high beam, but it has a dimmer switch built into the headlight switch. So you can have your screen super dim or just the brightness right from a switch on the dash. Uh, talking about the steering wheel, once you unlock it, 
It does have telescoping and tilt steering wheel. Uh, standard Ride Command, Ride Command Plus that comes with most Ride Command units. Underneath that, your new HVAC controls. Uh, it's going to have your switches built in the dash, so you don't have to manually close the vents. You can choose uh, dash, feet, feet and defrost, defrost. Uh, and then you'll have this recirc button, like, kind of like your car does, where it sucks the air that's in the cab back in and reuses it. So it's not trying to cool or heat up the air outside from whatever crazy weather is out there. It's got your already cooled or already heated up air, and it's just making it that much better for you. Uh, also down in the bottom panel here where it sucks that air in is going to be your <coughs> in-cab air filter. So pop this off, easy to change that out. On to the seats. Uh, these look familiar to the XP1000, but they are different. Super comfy, a little bit more wider, so it's not as tight. Um, in the center here, you're going to be able to fold that center seat down to expose two cup holders and a phone holder. You can flip that up if you have a passenger with you. So standard, this seat would raise this way to expose the storage underneath the center and your five-gallon bucket storage underneath the passenger seat. But if somebody's sitting over there and you don't want them to get out because you're driving, but you got your candy bar down in the center and you're hungry, reach back here, pop it forward, reach down and get your Snickers because you're not you when you're hungry uh, without them getting out or stopping any of that inconvenient stuff. Now this does come with four cup holders and four phone holders. You have one in front of the driver, one right below the center seat, another one right in front of that. So two between the two cup holders in the center. And like I showed you earlier, the one up top here. So if you or anybody that you know can fit four people in this single cab with four phone holders and four drinks, you let me know and I'll apologize about it. Another thing I like is the new battery location and fuse location. So they gave you some more under seat storage and a lot of you are probably thinking, oh, now the battery is hard to get to again. Well, take a look. Now the battery cover is right here. Pop it off, direct access to the battery and the fuses are right in front of you. Now, inconveniently, you will have to pick up your five gallon bucket but once that's out of the way, you got access to the fuses and battery right in front of you. Okay, another cool feature on the interior of the XT1500. So with the new steel drive transmission, there's technically no neutral on the shifter. You just have a park, reverse, or a drive. So if you come directly underneath the shifter knob, pop this cap with the blue notice on it. You'll turn this down, pull it straight out, turn it back up. And now the transmission is neutral, so you can pull it, tow it, what do you have to do? Then you'll manually push it back down, push it in, lock it back. Now you have your steel drive transmission back. Also, final note here on this XD1500. I'm sure a lot of you XP1000 North Star owners are going to appreciate this. Look how softly I just closed that door, right? I didn't have to slam it to get it shut completely. You just close it normally and it works, it's wonderful.